United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and right, are endowed with reason and conscience, and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration. Without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. No one shall be subjected to torture or cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. All are equal before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by competent national tribunals. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. Everyone is entitled in full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and impartial tribunal. Everyone charged with a penal offense has the right to be presumed innocent until proved guilty according to law in a public trial at which he has had all the guarantees necessary for his defense. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home, or correspondence, nor to attacks upon his honor and reputation. Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. Everyone has the right to leave any country, including his own, and to return to his country. Everyone has the right to seek and enjoy in other countries asylum from persecution. Everyone has the right to a nationality. Men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality or religion, have the right to marry and to found a family. Marriage shall be entered into only with the free and full consent of the intending spouses. The family is the natural and fundamental group of unit and is entitled to protection by society and the state. Everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. Everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country directly or through freely chosen representatives. 
Everyone has the right of equal access to public service in his country. The will of the people shall be the basis of authority of government. This will shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections, which shall be by universal and equal suffrage, and shall be held by secret vote or by equivalent free voting procedures. Everyone, as a member of society, has the right to social security. Everyone has the right to work, to free choice of employment, to just and favorable conditions of work, and to protection against unemployment. Everyone has the right to equal pay for equal work. Workers have the right to just and favorable remuneration. Everyone has the right to form and to join trade unions for the protection of his interests. Everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including reasonable limitation of working hours and periodic holidays with Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for health and welfare. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social protection. Everyone has the right to education. Education shall be free, at least in the elementary and fundamental state. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the strengthening of respect for human rights and fundamental freedom. Everyone has the right to freely participate in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts and to share in scientific advancement and its benefit. Everyone is entitled to a social and international order in which the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration can be fully realized. Everyone has duties to the community in which alone the free and full development of his personality is possible. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, group, or person any act aimed at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms set forth herein.